after getting your Google Home device, you'll want to install two separate apps on your iOS device. It's going to be Google Home and Assistant. This will make the operation of your device much smoother to use. Both these apps can be found in the App Store. So after you've plugged in your device, you're going to want to open up your Google Home. If this is the first time opening up your Google Home, it's going to ask you to sign in and to associate a location to the account. In this case, I already have multiple devices already connected to my Google account, but I'm going to add the Google Home now. Simply press set up one device, select where we want that to be, in this case it's going to be home, and then hit next. It's going to start to look for the device. If your Bluetooth is turned off, it's going to request that you turn that on to detect the new device. Once it's detected the new device, simply hit next. And it's going to connect to the Google device, in this case, a Google Home Mini. We did hear the sound, so we can confirm with yes. And then we are going to opt in. You can choose to if you do not want to by hitting no thanks. It's going to ask where this device is located. If this is the only device, you'll have to create a new one. In this case, I'm going to have mine in the living room. And then I need to select which network to connect it to. In this case, I am at the office, so I'm going to select the Liberty office. And it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi. Once it's finished in connecting, there gives you a couple different options of things that you can do with your Google Assistant. We're just going to hit Next. I do also recommend that you teach the Google Assistant to recognize your voice. In this case, I am going to skip this. I'm also going to skip that next feature as well. It's going to ask you to enter in your address or it can use the GPS in your phone to put your address. In this case, we have the Liberty Office. It's going to ask you if you want to add media services. We're going to skip that for now. And other things that your Google Home can do. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. We're just going to finish with the setup. So now we want to connect the Google Home to your Liberty Live account through Alarm.com. The easiest way to do this is to go back into your home screen and we want to open up the Google Assistant. From there, we want to explore by hitting the button in the bottom left hand corner that looks like a compass. And we want to search at the top for Alarm.com. We want to hit Link. It will open up a web page. We'll ask for your username and password for alarm.com. This will also be your Liberty Live information. After putting in your username and password, hit allow, and now your account will be linked.